So, got us a VV. Yeah, let's uh, let's get it out of here so we can check it in and and check it out. Boop. All right. So I already know what this is. This is a button lock Elementum two with Ultim handles. Yeah. So, okay. I have an Elementum, and I'm not a huge fan of it. As a matter of fact, it's on the purge list, which would leave me without an Elementum. So, uh, you know, looking through inventories and, you know, available knives and stuff, I thought, man, I think I'm going to try that button lock Elementum because maybe it's different. I'm not a big fan of the regular Elementum which is right here. So I don't even, I don't have a box for this one because I've had it in my collection for a long time. But I don't think it got carried a day. And the reason it didn't was because I'm not a big fan of the ergonomics on the knife. Um, I, there's just something about it, man. Like the lock is really, the lock is tight. I, I just, I mean, I just never got it. I mean, so I bought the knife and then it just never, never really did it for me. I mean, the Mark Hart is really nice on it. And to be honest, look at them. I mean, they're the same knife. I say that, but this one appears to be slightly bigger. I mean, is that an optical illusion? I believe this one's slightly bigger. I do. I think I think it is. Yeah, for sure it is. So the new one's the new one is just a little bit bigger, which isn't going to hurt my feelings cuz like I say this one just never got it for me. It is on the purge list. Um and so it'll be sold. I'll uh you know what? Um let me do this real quick. Yeah, you know what? It'll show up on a list, man. We got other stuff we're doing. If you're interested in it, just drop me a message, man. And I'll put a price on it. If you want it, we'll work something out. And I'll get it shipped off to you. No worries. Um, so back to this one. I thought, man, I'm getting rid of that one. I saw this one. It was available at a reasonable price. So I thought, I'm going to check it out. So here we are. I mean, that action, that button on this is wonderful. It is, it's completely free. And this Ultim scale, I mean, honestly, in the hand, it doesn't really feel like it's any bigger. Aggressive jimping on the top. Does have a little spot for a choke up there. You know, that stuff. Yeah, the button action. The button seems a little tight. I mean, it seems like it's got quite a bit of tension on it. But it is creating a wonderful detent for the back. I don't think I can fail it. No. Yeah, so I don't think I... Even if I could mess with it, I don't think I'm going to mess with it. Fact is, I can't fail it. So it, it's got the perfect snap to get it out of there. Which is the most important thing. That drop shut's nice. But in the end, what, what you really want is when you go to deploy the knife, it's consistently finding itself open. I do like this Ultim. It's pretty cool. You can see the spring in here. See it? You can make out the spring. The, skeletize, the skeletonization. The skelet, skeletizing skeletonizing, I don't know, the, the weight relief cuts, 
in the scales, all that's really visible. Yeah. Very cool. Let's get rid of this stuff here and we'll get in it. I mean, don't get no pass. Just because it was being treated special because of the other one on its way out. Let's check it out, man. Let's see what's going on. I'm pretty sure, I mean, look at it, it's a standard butt lock. That's one of the things with the uh, Ultim. It's really not hiding no secrets, is it? Is there a Loctite on that? Yeah, a little bit. Show sure enough. Another good thing with these these Civivi knives is they tend to have T8s all the way around. I mean, it's a little thing, but good for them. But not these not these uh, clip screws. I believe just this back one's got to go. But let's get them both. Face that downward, protect that spring from disappearing. There we go. I mean, it's kind of oily in here. Actually, it's really oily in here. We can clean that up. And then I believe this captures actually on the back of that pivot. Let's see. Yeah, there's a little cutout right there. And then there'll be a nub on the scale itself. I always like that kind of captured pivot. I mean, it's pretty neat how they did it. I don't see a lot going on here, so I think I'll leave that together. Let's go ahead and wipe it all down. I do see uh, we got some badging here. Uh, I think it's saying Nitro V Steel. I think that's what that says. Let's see if we can get it to focus in. No. Yeah, that's what it says. Nitro V. Nitro V steel. Not familiar with it. To make a big comment, I think I'll just keep it to myself before I say something foolish. But I will look it up before the end of the video. How about that? I'm going to look up something else, too, before the end of the video. I got a couple of lookups. Had a little smear of some oil on there. Let's get that off. I wonder if they wear white gloves when they assemble these. Just so that they, they don't get fingerprints. Kind of a smaller bearing, but... Man, it worked good. I mean, that blade was flying around. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm not going to say it's a surrender, but it definitely was uh, an effort on my part to move past me not liking, really, the Elementum and seeing if I could, if I could, you know, if I could move past it, if this version could could suck me in and get me rethinking all that. And uh, I kind of think it is. The preliminary is, is pretty nice. Look how that works. That's kind of interesting. Mm. Slowly roll, bro. Get things in their proper order. Getting ahead of myself.
Now let's get the button. knew it was going to do that. I don't know why, but that little applicator tip is the exact width of a bearing. So if I stick it in there, it'll snatch that bearing up and just pick it right up. Okay, I should on this one be able to set the scale and then, or set the liner and then come back and get scale on. Which, how easy is it to line up that spring with that Ultim? Come on, man. If for no other reason than that's, a, that's awesome. Takes the guesswork right out of it. I suppose like any plastic or acrylic, you don't want to over tighten anything. smooth as silk blade centered yeah very smooth man look at this thing that milling blade centered I mean it might redeem the whole elementum thing for me okay so, I checked on a couple of things. Um, first off, one of the ways to say this is the, the liners on this have been skeletonized. I don't know if it's skeletonization. I'm pretty sure that's it, skeletonization. But it's definitely appropriate to say they've been skeletonized. <laughs> for whatever that's worth, man. It's, I mean, that word's just stuck in my mouth. I can't get it figured out. Um, goofy. Uh, the other thing is that um, the Nitro B. So about the, the main difference I could see on the Nitro B is it appears the Nitro V is a legit stainless and so it's going to be superior to, say, D2 as far as uh, corrosion resistance. Um, as far as sharpenability, toughness, all those types of things, I don't know. The reviews are kind of mixed, and there's some opinions for some, you know, for one, for the other. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's... It's, it's a budget steel, all in all. It's not a high-end steel. Um, but it is a stainless. Eh, we got her now. All right, let's wrap up. The action on this, I mean, I think it's pretty easy for me to say that this has got A-level action for a button lock. It's got a great detent, so it's snappy. Can't fail it from the back. Um, the button itself, the, the blade is just free in the knife, running on those bearings really well. So A action. Ergonomics, I mean, I can get four fingers on this knife. This combat jimping up front 
really locks me in. I've got a good finger guard. So this is a, this is a confident grip. You know, this is over the line of confident. I feel very confident that if I could go forward with this knife. And if I met resistance in the form of, you know, a, a, a belt or a jacket or, you know, leather, some kind of material that, that I would not lose my grip and come up over the, over the, uh, guard onto the blade with my fingers. Yeah. Feel pretty good about it. The pocket clip pretty much disappears back here. I don't feel any hot spots. Um, the Ultim is kind of slick. I mean, it's got this milling in it, but it's kind of a slick feel, but I wouldn't treat this like a combat knife anyways. This is, this is maybe a, a pair of shorts on a Sunday afternoon knife. Um, but I would say for me, it's capable. This could, this could fill in for, you know, backup self-defense for sure. It's got a good enough grip, snappy action. I think reliable to, to, uh, uh, deploy that blade. Yeah. Let's check the pocket clip. I'm sure it's going to run fine, but we're not going to take it for granted. We're going to check it. Yeah. Over the thick stuff, knife completely disappears, deep carry, excellent uh, tension. It's a drier pocket clip. Yeah, even on the thin stuff. That thing's going to be wherever I put it after a tumble in the dryer. It'll still be there. I dig it. Check it for safety. Yeah, no blade contact. No tip contact, so the tip's good, the clip is good, and I'm confident I can put this in my pocket without reaching in accidentally and cutting myself. So, good to go. I wonder if it's sharp. I've got a small, tiny little piece of paper right here. Let's use it. It is a hollow ground blade, so this thing should be, yeah, that kind of hair plucking... I mean, the, the paper is jumping away from the blade at the end of that cut. And of course, the minute I say that it's doing that, then it goes, yeah, we're not going to do it no more. Wow, pretty nice. Very sharp, front of factory. No strop, no sharpening. Really nice. Um, price and availability. So, I found this in a couple of spots, but... Uh, you can pick this up from Amazon for next day or two day delivery. Right now it's available for $75. Nitro V, the Ultim Scales. I think it might be a few dollars cheaper, just a few dollars cheaper from uh, White Mountain Knives. So I, I think you're right around $70 either way. So... Hey, I appreciate you watching, and uh, check one out. I, I like it, and uh, it's kind of redeemed me for the Elementum. The other one, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go on the block. If you got some interest in it, let me know, and I'll get you a price, and, man, we can get that knife off to you. But uh, anyways, thanks again.